right, <laughs> I have just come back from a nice little run uh, with the girls. Uh, one on a bike, one on a scooter, me running. Whew, I don't think I'll be doing that again <laughs> in a rush. <laughs> right, so I feel the need for a little bit of a stretch. Uh, both the girls are songed, sat with headphones on, iPad and um, phone. So I'm taking the opportunity to put some uh, more uh, recordings together for you. I know some of you are struggling with your back, so uh, I've got a really neatly back this week, I've had. So I'm gonna just improvise a little bit uh, on a few exercises that comes to my head. Uh, pick out the ones that you like, do them when you can, make sure you're nice and warm. Um, don't have to do all of them together. If there's some of them that you know that ag aggravate something, don't do them um, and, um, and just, uh, um, hope you enjoy. So we're going to start in a uh, down dog position. So just walking the hands forward and coming into a nice um, stretchy down dog. Yeah? So spreading your fingers wide, pressing down through the palm of your hand, easing your heels down. Now this is such a great exercise. Every time I suffer with my back, I come into down dog. Yeah? There's ways of getting into a deeper down dog. So if you suffer with your hamstrings, if your hamstrings are tight, you don't want to force your heels down here, you want to ease them down, yeah? So maybe start with a little pedal walk. And this little routine that I'm planning on doing, you can do it wherever, anytime, anywhere. Might be a nice uh, little sequence that you can pick out and do every so often when the back feels a bit niggly. So, Easing the heels down, so stretching the back of our legs, yeah, stretch, stretching the leg muscles and the hips are so, so important to keep a healthy back. Okay, so strong through the center. And then what I tend to do is I press my chest down. You see the difference, the shift in the exercise here. Pressing my chest down, and that gives me a really good stretch all the way across my back. And easing my heels down, I can certainly feel my calves after my run. And then maybe you want to ease off a little bit. And if you want a little bit more on your legs, you can bring one leg up and gently put it on the back of the other calf. Try and stay square with your shoulders down to the floor, core engaged, finding the rhythm of your breath. And that's a really good hamstring and calf stretch. Just be careful you don't go too deep on these stretches. Okay, and then swapping over, same on the other side. So easing the heel down and bringing the other foot onto the other side again, squaring those shoulders down to the floor. And then from here, we're gonna flow the move up and down a little bit to release the back. So positioning that foot back again, pressing down and then easing forwards, coming all the way down. Now this might be too challenging for some of you, but taking it slow, releasing the feet as you come down and maybe dropping those shoulders down a little bit more. And then curling the toes and pushing back up again. So just nice, slow and controlled. And then going down again, drawing the belly, tucking everything and coming down. So really controlling the move, pushing your hips down, releasing your feet, making sure those shoulders are down and engaging your glutes a little bit here as well. We're gonna do that one more time, so pushing up. And we've got to come down again. So big, tuck your chin in, draw your belly button in, and flow it all the way down. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, release your feet. And then from here, we're going to come all the way down into our back extension. So engage your glutes a little bit more. And there's lots of variations. Your traditional back extension that is so, so effective for strengthening your lower back. Feet stay on the floor to start with, engage your glutes, bring your fingertips to the temples and then lift as high as you can. Hold for about three seconds if you can and then release with control. Okay, go again, lifting. Try not to hold your breath, eye gaze to the floor to protect your neck. Strong, strong through the centre, engaging those glutes and release down. Let's do that one more time. So coming back up. And then release down. Well done. Coming into a cobra. Low or high you choose. Baby or grown up one. 
So hands slide them down underneath your shoulders and then press through the palm of your hand. So imagine that you have your shoulders up, round and back down, lifting baby, teenage, fully grown cobra. And if you want, just gently walk over your shoulder here. Incorporate a little bit of a neck stretch, back to centre. That feels really nice into the back. Squeeze your glutes here to help and protect. And then come back and release down. And there's lots and lots of things that you can do down here, okay? You've got no pressure on your knees at all. So maybe try and extend your arms. Maybe you want to do a little bit of a swimming action. Again, eye gaze are down. Keeping a good flow of the breath here. Squeezing those glutes again. And then release, coming down. Just rest your head onto your hands for a moment. Just catch your breath for a moment. And then showing you one more um, variation. There are lots, lots and lots and lots, but I will hopefully keep recording these for you and um, show you different options. So you can extend your arms all the way up over your head. And then at the same time, lift your torso with your eye gaze down. Bring your fingers to your shoulders, really squeeze your bottom here. Keep your toes and your feet down and then open out wide into aeroplane. And really feel how you engage in upper and lower back here. And then fingers back to your temples, uh, temples or shoulders, and then release down. Catching your breath and going again when you're ready. Strong brace through the tummy, fingers to shoulders. Open wide, lots of energy out into your fingertips. Fingers back to your shoulders. And then release down. Brilliant. I really do hope my batter is not going to go flat on us. <laughs> I know it's right down. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. So, arms overhead, lifting. Maybe you can lift a little bit higher each time. Really strong, strong connection in your glutes. Arms extend wide, eyes to the floor. Fingers to your shoulders and then release down. Whew. Well done. Okay, catch your breath and then when you're ready, bring your hands back to your underneath your shoulders and then coming up onto your knees. Staying um, all the way down doing this exercise is totally fine if you're suffering with your knees or if you're suffering with your wrists. Otherwise, just remember to take plenty of breaks if it's the wrists. Uh, try and mobilize and take plenty of breaks. So we're gonna stay strong throughout the center, maybe use a knee pad as well. So it's your traditional um, swimming exercise. So extend one arm and lengthen the opposite leg. Eyes are down into the floor again to protect your neck and glutes are engaged. And maybe you wanna try and just open up a little bit here. And then coming back. Eyes to the floor, open. Come back and open and then come back. And then when we do, before we do the other side, just stay in our cat stretch. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees below your hip. And just arch your back up here into a cat stretch. Push your shoulder blades apart and drop your head heavy down. And come the other way. So cat and cow, a couple of times, push your glutes behind you and lift. Push your shoulder blades apart here. And come the other way. Well done, we're gonna do one more time. So you can stay in these stretches for as long as you want. I'm make, making it quite dynamic, because otherwise it'll probably be a bit boring to watch. But you can go at your own tempo here. So stopping in this last one, we're gonna bring your eye gaze up if you can. Again, keep pushing your bottom behind you, almost as if you're opening your glutes here. And feel that stretch, beautiful in your back, well done. Okay, and we've got the other side of the swimming to do, so prepare, eye gaze down, extend one arm, lengthen, you also have that sensation that somebody's pulling you from either side of the room, engaging your glutes, eyes still to the floor, and we open up wide, and then we come back, and do that again. And if you feel that this is 
giving you a, more of a niggle into your back. Maybe try and do it, but don't go as wide, okay? Because it is a really good strengthener. But take it um, at your own pace. And come back, well done. From here, we're gonna to move to a seated, um, seated twisty stretch. You know, all the twisty stretches, I really like them because they uh, do really strengthen your back. Um, so what we need to think about in the twist is that we lengthen before we rotate. So coming into a, a closed twist, so either sit with your foot on the inside of the knee or if you can bring it out. You can see my hip is lifting a little bit too much here, so I'm better in this position. Anchoring the sit bones down and lengthening, okay? I do this stretch quite a lot myself because I know it really helps. So sitting in good posture and bringing the um, arm around, you're pressing that knee towards you and then you start to lengthen through the crown of your head here. Help yourself with the posture by pressing the other hand down and then take a deep breath in here. And then breathe out and look over your shoulder. And you should feel that twist and the more you rotate round, the more you will feel into your back here. And then very gently bring the head back and then swapping over. Same on the other side, going on the inside or the outside. Again, making sure both your sit bones are down, keeping all the body parts close together. Elbow around, helping out with a hand on the floor, pressing down to find that good posture. Breathing in and then look over your shoulder and breathe out. Keep pressing your sit bones into the floor and try and keep your ears and your shoulders well away from each other. Well done, bringing that head back and releasing the legs. Um, and then sit with your legs crossed if you can. Yeah, if you can, maybe bring one foot up uh, if that works for you. Other key, otherwise, keep the foot on the floor. Some people find that it's hurting on the side into the ankle, then maybe you can use your um, individual knee pads or a towel or something. So, again, sit in a good posture. We're going to reach those arms all the way up really high. Uh, to the side of the ears and then we're going to interlink the fingers here and then stretch up okay so you're anchoring your sit bones down you're making sure you're not bringing your shoulders up towards your ears taking a deep breath in here and a full breath out and again deep breath in and release well done flowing it up and over as far as you can, reaching, keeping that good connection in your tummy and just reaching up and over. Well done, let's do that one more time each side. Nice work. And then we're going to finish off with a little stretch. Um, with one leg is bent and one leg is straight and sitting again with good posture and just reaching your arms up high, breathing in and then coming down, stretching that front leg, stretching your hamstrings. Now, if it's, it's too much for your back, maybe you want to come to here instead. Just making sure you've got real good posture, coming down if you can. And then flowing the arms all the way up and then we rotate from the waist and the hip and bring one arm across and almost as if you're pressing that knee down and then you reach up and try and reach for the toes on that leg. That's straight. Yeah, so the top arm goes to the side of your ear and this is a real nice stretch as well for um, the back. and then release and then just simply swap your legs over here well done hope you find this useful okay um there's nothing worse than backache is there or maybe toothache <laughs> right so swapping over one leg straight one leg bent anchoring those sit bones breathing in and then breathe out and come down 
if you flex that foot okay bring your toes towards you you might feel that stretch a little bit more and i have no idea what i've done to my back but it is very niggly could be cold actually i think i got a bit cold wind into it the other day okay and then coming back here where we rotate from the side of the crossing over pressing that knee down so you get stretch into your hip as well and then reaching up high and keeping in that side twist if you like reaching the top arm as far as you can always like somebody's tipping you down onto that uh, extended leg try and relax your shoulders try and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth And there's lots and lots and lots of different things that you can do for your back. I'd say majority um, of the niggles come from uh, a too tight hip and too tight leg muscles. So work on your, um, your leg muscles and the stretches. Okay, we're going to come back up to where we started. So coming back into your uh, down dog again. So on all fours and then curling your toes and pushing back up and just pressing the chest towards the thighs into a little pedal walk here to ease the hamstrings out well done let's see if this will show in the video as well so walking your feet and your hands back together and coming halfway now positioning your hands on your knees or just below okay and then with energy lifting your chest up here keeping your legs as straight as you can and quite powerful hands into your legs into your knees wherever they are and then have the sensation that somebody's pulling you through the crown of your head and somebody's pulling you through your tailbone lifting that chest a little bit more shoulder blades down into your back pockets and then from this we're going to release down bring your hands fingers to the floor and then come back into that again so connect well in your tummy, relax your shoulders, eyes to the floor to keep that neck in a straight position. Well done, take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Bend your knees, come down and come back up one last time into the flat back extension. Such a great stretch, so shoulder blades down eyes to the floor and just breathe energy into your back and your spine and then release coming down here and just gently rotate just release the lower back keeping your legs as straight as you can here and then just making your way back up here nice and steady and just resetting the shoulders okay Brilliant. Hope you find that useful. So a nice little 18 minute routine for you to pick out your favorite exercises or do it all together. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you try it. See you soon. Bye.